Ooh, it's bitter. About 10 to 4 in the morning. Ooh, what a feel of it. It's probably about 3 or 4 degrees. We're going to go down the Parramatta River. And um, fish this morning tide. I was thinking about putting a boat on and whatnot, but it's really gentleman's hours for that sort of thing. And with the full moon, I find it's a regular pattern with me every month. The moon does my head in. So to combat it, I go and have a fish. So today I'm thinking about, I looked at the tides about an eight o'clock, 7.30 high tide, if I got it right, uh, down the Parramatta River. So I'm gonna go down there and I'm going to try a little bit of urban stuff. I'm going to try the drains and canals. Just see, see if they come up. Like the canals probably hold about three foot of water in them. It's not a big high, but it should be holding two foot on daylight. So just maybe some of these big fish will roll up there. If not, I'll go out into the main because there's plenty of water on the main river today. So I should get a fish in. I've got plenty of options, put it that way. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just so bloody cold that it's hard to say it properly. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to turn you off and uh, begin our video now. There it is. There's that full moon. It's a bit creepy old Sydney early in the morning. Ooh. Plane. Train. That's the first cast. Oh, it's steady, I can tell straight away, so I'm gonna move. I hate the cold. school razor wire This is schools of salmon Busting up on the white, on the glasses in here. There's carnage going on out there. There's salmon busting up all through the middle. Oh, glasses everywhere. Small, uh, small. <laughs> small, yeah. It's beautiful. What are you using for bait? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I'll go, I'll leave you, I'll go up here more. Okay, okay. You yeah. have a good day. Okay, okay. What's your name? Ah. Uh, uh, your name? I'm Aaron. Uh, Noi. Noi? Uh, all right, see you, mate. Thank good you. luck. Thank you. Oh, what's your rod there? Oh, wow. Oops. You need to get rod holders. Okay. See you, buddy. Yeah, that's a nice little brim. Just bear with me for a sec. 
real big brim. But okay. the fact that where I am. Just walk us over here, get a better idea of where I am fishing. I mean I there's salmon up here early this morning. What an awesome fishery. Bear with me. There you have it. Nice little brim under the freeway bridge. Yep. There's the freeway. We can't get more populated than this. There's a healthy little brim that's rolled in for the winner. Glasses everywhere, there's salmon coming up. Beautiful. Um, but surf and fishing, I really love to do, and I don't know why this can't be a catch and release only. Filming? Okay. This is an amazing fishery, and we should be looking after it. And there's a Chinaman down there and he doesn't even know he's breaking the law by keeping these fish. He also doesn't even know, oops, sorry mate, that they're toxic and poisonous. But, if we made it the catch and release area only, we could have signage up, angler pressure, and people like him would understand that. That'll be out of him within an hour. I know that because I've tested many of them with me um, live wells. Oh, re -re. And this is the same day bait I've had all week. I haven't kept it in the fridge or anything, just had it in the plastic. And um, three, four days later, it's as good as what it was when I made it. fun. I've put a bit of film in there of a, um, a Chinaman fishing down there. Uh, I'm, I'm not the police, I'm not to tell him what he can and can't do. But he probably doesn't have a clue that those fish could be toxic and he's eating them. Uh, where I was fully aware of what I was doing, I, I, I let the fish go. And it's my little protest to allow people like me to fish these waters because they are a sensational fishery. It's something to offer the young blokes and girls. And uh, everything's so expensive these days. This is an option that right under our noses. Um, we can park in public car parks. Catching broom over there earlier. 